everyone, and today I'm going to be talking about my top five um, perfumes from the department store. And um, I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know to start out that my kind of um, favorite fragrances are floral, fresh, or fruity fragrances usually is what I gravitate toward. I also like some that have sweet notes too. Um, it was really hard for me to narrow it down to five, so I do have an additional one that I have to throw in there because I could not narrow it down to five. So I just want to throw that in there. Um, but I am going to go ahead and start with my ultimate favorite, which is Estee Lauder Beautiful. And it comes in a very cute bottle like this. I have loved this for a long time. And it just smells like a flower bouquet in a, in a perfume bottle. I just love it so much. And I'm going to talk about the notes and everything. Um, on Estee Lauder's site, it is described as a rich, romantic, and luxurious scent. And it's basically a fragrance of a thousand flowers. It's a rich blend of rose, lily, um, tuberose, and orange flower. Um, brightened with citrus, warmed by woods. And it's romantic, feminine, and memor memorable. Can we say that word? The top notes are rose, mandarin, lily, tuberose, and marigold. The middle notes are orange flower, um, nougat, jasmine, and yingling. And then the base notes are sandalwood, uh, vetiver, I can't even say that word, and amber. And the feeling is rich, romantic, and luxurious. So and it, the fragrance type is a floral. So yes, this is my top favorite one. My second favorite one, actually, yeah, I, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go in with Estee Lauder ones first. So number two is going to be Pleasures by Estee Lauder. I'm going to go ahead and find that one for you guys real quick. Um, let's see. Pl pleasures. Pleasures also comes in a very, like, cute container like this. And this is a... I think this is a one ounce 1.7 ounces and this is also a floral let's see what this is described as sorry it's taken a moment for this to load and I don't know right off the top of my head what the fragrance notes are so I'm gonna have to look it up sorry guys okay so let's see the product details one of life's simple pleasures go figure fresh as flowers after a spring rain this sheer shimmering floral blends of lilies white peonies and jasmine all tingling with the rare essence of exotic bell rose and the top notes are white lily violet leaves and green accents the middle notes are black lilac white peony um caro Corunte, I have no idea what that is. Blossoms, um, Bell Rose, Pink Rose, and Jasmine. And then the base notes are um, Sandalwood and Patchouli. And the feeling for this is sheer, spirited, and shimmering. I love that. And this is a sheer floral. So this just smells amazing to me. I really like it. And it's a um, day perfume, so it is very concentrated and it lasts throughout the day. Beautiful is the same way, where it lasts throughout the day. It's long-lasting, beautiful fragrance. All right, now moving on. I'm going to be moving on to Lancome. I just have to go ahead and pull this up on my phone, Lancome, real quick. So just bear with me, folks. I hope everybody's doing wonderful today and having a great day. All right, so I'm looking up Lancome really fast so I can tell you guys because I'm not really good at describing fragrances all on my own. I need help from the, the perfume makers in telling me what notes are in these perfumes and everything. All right, so I'm trying to do this video as quick as I can. All right, depending on how fast this loads. All right, I am on Lancome's site right now. Hopefully this is easy to navigate. 
we're gonna go to view all fragrances and I'm gonna look this up and it's a surprise because I haven't told you guys what this one is yet if I can find it on here hopefully I can it's a very popular fragrance so it has to be on here all right just give me one second guys I will pull it up all right they have so many fragrances on Lancome. I didn't even know they had so many. All right, I found it. Okay, so the next one is um, the Lancome Trezor Midnight Rose. I love the bottle. It's so cute. This is a great, like, um, evening fragrance. You can wear it during the day, too. But it smells amazing, I think. I just love it. I love the bottle. I love how it has a little purple rose on the top. Um, and it's 58 for a one ounce bottle. Wait, no. Yeah, it's 58 for a one ounce bottle. And then the price goes up as you, you know, go up in size. I'm going to go try to find the description for this. It's a little bit harder to navigate than... Estee Lauder site. I give uh, you know a huge thank you to Estee Lauder site because that was easy to navigate. Here's the info and ingredients. Okay, so this is described as charming, mischievous, and desirable. Awesome. It's a sexy blend or a sexy sweet blend of raspberry, rose, vanilla, and sensual musk. And I just love this. It's if you like raspberries and rose and vanilla, you're gonna love this. And it's, I would say it's more of an evening um, fragrance though. But I love it. It lasts forever. Like if you spray it on your shirt or something, and you wake up the next day, you're gonna smell it because this stuff just lasts. And I just, like I said, love the bottle so much. This is a the two point two point. I believe this is the two point five size. Yeah, two point five. So this is the biggest bottle that they have of this. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna have to pull up another site real quick. Let me go ahead and try to get into the next one. Um, we have. I'll try I'll go to Elizabeth Arden next okay just bear with me guys I'll get there and hopefully this one's easier to navigate than Lancome I love Lancome but their site was kind of harder to navigate than Estee Lauder Elizabeth Arden's is very easy to navigate there are a lot of Elizabeth Arden ones I like, but I had to narrow it down. And there, there's actually some discontinued that they don't have anymore that um, that I was a little disappointed about. I'm trying to find the one I'm trying to look for, though. Let's see. Yeah, this is a little harder to navigate. I'm just going to search for it. Okay. Alrighty, I found it. Alright, so the next one that I like a lot is Red Door by Elizabeth Arden. And it's so cute. It's like it's like a red bottle with a with a clear lid, and then on the back there's a door. So that's so cool. Red door. I love that. Okay, so let me go ahead and talk about the product details. Um, it has, it's a rich, rare floral, and it has freesia, red roses, and orchids, honey, and sandalwood, um, and it has a glamorous finish, and I just love this stuff. I know that that's not all of the, the notes in here, though. Okay, the top notes, it's saying, are Lily of the Valley, and freesia and wild violets. The middle notes are red rose, 
Moroccan orange flower, jasmine, and yingling. And the base notes are um, honey, oak moss, and sandalwood. So those are everything that makes up Red Door. And I love Red Door. This one is also, this is a toilette. But amazingly, it does last a long time for a toilette. Even though it's not a day perfume, it lasts a long time. Okay, so moving on to my fifth favorite. Um, it's from Juicy Couture. And I'm going to try to find the notes and everything for you guys. Um, so let me go to Juicy Couture real quick and look this up. see if they have an easy navigation site so that we can go ahead and talk about the Juicy Couture. Ooh, 20% off. I'll do that later. All right. So I'm going to try to find fragrances on here real quick. It's a little bit of a harder to navigate site on a mobile phone. We'll go to women and hopefully they have fragrances. I don't see any fragrances. What is what is up with this? Maybe I just have to put it in the search or something. Sorry guys, Juicy Couture is not my friend right now. I'm just gonna go to like Macy's or something because they have Juicy Couture and I can just look up the ingredients. All right. There is a new one too that I have not really tried yet, and I'm gonna try it on Scentbird. So, all right. So the one I'm talking about is the Viva La Juicy Rose. Look how gorgeous this bottle is. It's like a glitter pink bottle with really cool bow on the top. I just love their packaging. It's so cute, and it smells so good. If you like roses, you're gonna love this stuff. Um, let me just try to find the notes in here. Hopefully Macy's has this one so I can look it up and read all the notes. They do have this one. They have little sets too, so that's really cute. All right, please have notes in here because not all, I've noticed that not all like people that sell this stuff has all the product details, but it looks like this one does. Um, we're going to read more here. All right, so basically, it's an irresistible bouquet of honey like pink flowers or pink blossoms, and it is kissed with the glow of sensual amber. And it, they say that it lasts all throughout the day, and it has a festive pink bow on there, but it's not giving me all the notes. So yeah, that sucks, because I like to have all the notes. Let me just do a search of this perfume and see if I can get all the notes. Viva la Juicy Rose. Sorry that I was not really prepared with all the notes and everything, guys. I just like to wing it. I like improvisation. I've always been that way. I'm sorry if it's a little longer than what you guys thought. I'm going to look it up on fragrance.net and see if they give me more details about this fragrance. Because, let me see, brand no, brand information isn't going to tell me. Yeah, the problem is not enough places are talking a lot about the products. I think Scentbird might tell me all the notes that are in it. So we'll just go to Scentbird. And if you don't know about Scentbird, I'll go ahead and talk about it. I haven't got my, my first Scentbird yet, but it's $14.95 a month and you get to try a whole bunch of different designer fragrances before you buy the big one and you get a pretty good size and when i do get my first one i'll show you guys what it looks like it's a pretty good size fragrance that you get to try before you buy and you get your preferences too like you can put in what your preferences are and it will give you like a collection of perfumes that they think you'll like 
Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna look on Scentbird real quick and see if I can find the notes of the the, the juicy, uh, Viva La Juicy Rose. So, let me search real quick. Viva La Juicy Rose. Okay, Viva La Juicy Rose. And it's not wanting to find it. It was because I put Viva. Viva instead of Viva. All right, here we go. I found it, guys. I found it. All right. So we, uh, oh yeah. They give you a huge description on Scentbird. It says that there is, let's see. Jasmine, Rose. Um, let's see. There's rose pear jasmine and mandarin and honey and so it's basically a citrusy like honey so it's citrus sweet and rosy and jasminey and pear-y so it's a really beautiful scent all combined into one and I just love this so much. This bottle is amazing. Okay, so that is my fifth. And then I was talking about one more that I had to add into my top five because I just couldn't keep it to five. And it is a perfume from Clinique. So I'm going to go to Clinique's site. And hopefully Clinique has a really good navigation that tells me everything about all the notes and it is like a fragrance that a lot of people love from Clinique so let me see if I can pull this up really fast and then we get out of this all right fragrance women's because I don't wear men's fragrances All right, and this is a perfume spray, and it is the Clinique Happy. I love the Clinique Happy. It smells so good, and it makes you happy when you wear it. I swear it does. Like, if you're in a happy mood, you want to wear Clinique Happy. Basically, it is a hint of citrus, um, a wealth of flowers, a mix of emotions, and it's their best-selling women's fragrance. Um, it's basically ruby red grapefruit, um, bergamot, and then it has Hawaiian wedding flower and spring mimosa. Wear it and be happy. So yeah, that is my number six favorite perfume. And it smells so good and I love it and it's been my favorite for a long time. All right, so I do love a lot of different fragrances more than this because I am like a, a fragrance lover and like, I mean, I'll even wear fragrance to go to bed. I just love fragrances so much. And it's like, I, I've always wanted to be a signature scent kind of girl, but I can't because it's like whatever mood I'm in is what fragrance I wanna wear or what I'm wearing, I'll match my fragrance to what I'm wearing you know or if it's a date night or a daytime or a summer or you know like I just match my fragrances for that like my mood basically so more perfume videos are to come if you like perfume videos please give this a thumbs up for more awesome perfume videos and if you have a favorite fragrance or if you are like me and you like a lot of different fragrances then please comment below and let me know what your favorites are because I'd like to know all right, well, if you're new to my channel, then welcome to my channel, and please subscribe for more videos. All right, so I will see you guys in my next video, and remember that we're all beautiful. All right, bye, everyone. Have a nice day.